elite performers taking lots of information, piece it all together and make a decision. Often, junior golfers just go and hit the shot. They don't develop the ability to chunk information. What makes this even harder for a junior golfer is often they spend a lot of time on the range, practicing ball, rake, hit, rake, hit. When you just rake and hit balls, you begin to chunk information in that environment. Well, what happens when you go on the golf course and the environment that you need to perform in is completely different. You know, basketballers practice on the basketball court, soccer players practice on the soccer field, and golfers practice on the golf range. This really impedes their ability to learn to chunk information. So here's one of my favorite examples of how to create an environment that enables a student to discover their osphere. Tristan is playing a game where if he makes par, he gets to progress to the next hole. If he makes a bogey, he has to replay the hole. If he made a double bogey, he would go back to the previous hole. Triple bogey, he would go back two holes. Um, if you make birdie, you get to skip a hole. So we can see Tristan now is hitting his approach. And I can already see his routine has changed somewhat. He's perhaps getting outcome orientated. This is his birdie putt to skip the hole. And he just shaves it by. And now the catch is we play draw back. So Tristan draws this back. So what should have been a simple par and allow him to move on to the next hole, he now faces quite a testing putt to, to progress. And there we can see Tristan has missed, a little frustrated. So we already see this constraint-led environment is enabling him to accept. If he wants to make the, the best job of this task, he has to accept. We can also see now he's playing the hole again. He's changed club. So he's actually now as well with this constraints-led environment working on, on his ONS of Osphere, his options and selection, becoming more strategically aware. So we can see now Tristan going a little bit deeper into his visualization process this time, trying to make a, a better job of the, the task and, and he's actively learning and actively discovering from his previous mistakes. Looks a lot more in flow, a lot more relaxed and set up and plays uh, an excellent pitch. So well done Tristan, learning from the original mistakes. Here's his birdie pot, just shades by, and now Tristan's gonna be faced with, with a similar pot to the one he's just missed. So let's see if he learned from the first time round. So a great test here of Tristan's execution phase and his ability to stay in the moment. And there we go, well done Tristan. 